Hi guys and girls, welcome to a new Farm Howl video. It's Ed here, and today we're going to have a quick look into baling silage. In today's video, I'll talk a little bit about baling silage and the process behind it. I won't talk on the benefits of baling silage versus hay, we can talk about that in another video. So the process. Of course, silage starts with cutting the grass. Typically in the UK, the grass can be cut between two and four times a year, depending on the weather and also the machines at hand. After cutting the grass, you might need to turn it. This again depends on the farmers and what moisture content they would like the grass to be. Once the grass is at the preferred moisture content, it's ready to be raked up into swaths ready for baling. Some farmers prefer square bales and some prefer round. This is down to the machines available at hand and also the systems the farmers have in place once the bales are being made. Once the bales are being made, they need to be wrapped. This needs to be done so fermentation can occur and also we can stop oxygen getting into the bale. Once the bales are wrapped, they then can be stored on the farm ready for the coming winter. So that was literally a whistle stop tour of the process of making a silage bale. Now we come to a few common questions about silage. What are silage bales used for? Well, typically silage bales are used over winter as stock feed for cows and sheep, as in the field, you know, there isn't as much feed for them there because the grass isn't growing and uh, also the conditions aren't great for cows and sheep to be out. How long can you keep a silage bale for? Usually farmers keep them for up to nine to 12 months. How heavy are silage bales? Typically between four to 800 kilos, but again, that depends on the machines at hand. So bales can be made smaller and yet larger, but then it's just manipulating and moving them after they've been made can be difficult if they're too heavy. How many layers of wrap are there on a bale? usually around four to eight layers of wrap any more than that and it's not really doing anything and you're wasting money putting the plastic on the bale how long do you leave the grass before baling well typically farmers like to do it within 24 hours as there aren't as many nutritional losses but it can be left up to 48 hours depending on the weather why do silage bales go moldy this often happens because air gets into the bale air might be already present in the bale because it might not have been made with enough tension to keep the air out or there might be holes in the wrap so air is coming in from the outside. So that's a quick look into baling silage. Like all that's in farming this is the best practices based on our own opinion. So depending on the machines at hand, the systems in place and what the farmer prefers it might be different from what I've mentioned. Until next time Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.